This module here is going to tackle the eccentric loading portion and the eccentric isometric portion of drops and lateral movements that don't necessarily require a weight room, right? So this is an ability to decelerate forces rapidly, explosively off of objects and being pulled or being pushed by a coach or, or a partner. The first one we're gonna go over is just a basic depth drop, okay? And a basic depth drop has two variations. It has a soft, learning vari a soft landing variation and a hard landing variation. The soft landing variation, basically you're gonna stand up on top of a box and when you drop down, you're gonna be as silent and as soft as possible in the landing. You wanna make sure you almost don't hear the landing, you feel the joints just absorbing all the energy slowly and under control until you come to a complete stop, right? So if I was standing on top of a box and dropping forward, I'd wanna land really soft, really cushy, cushy, almost feel like a ninja landing on those, on those landings, right? Like if you're landing on eggshells, trying not to crack the eggs. Again, you're gonna drop down, real soft landing. You're gonna toe heel the landing, let the knees bend, let the hip drop back, let the chest come forward. That's gonna be the soft landing variation. A hard landing variation, we're gonna to try to smash the brakes as soon as possible, creating, creating that fast eccentric into fast isometric uh, adaptation that we're looking for in a lot of these movements. So same, same drop, right? You're gonna drop off the box, except now when you land, you're gonna land very stiffly and hard, and you're gonna to to engage the muscles as soon as possible to really stop the momentum of the landing, right? From there, we can add variations, like you could add an accelerated variation where a coach is gonna push you down or a partner's gonna push you down, so if I hands on my shoulder, I'm standing on the box, I'm getting pushed down as I drop, it's gonna really accelerate the motion, then I gotta really hit the brakes to stop momentum. I could also create my own resistance. I could grab some dumbbells in my hand. I could grab a med, med ball here and I could just drop down. Again, try to hit the brakes and now I'm doing it with added resistance. That's another way to do it. Other variations of this would be off to the side. So instead of just landing forward, let's say you're standing on a box and you're gonna drop off the box sideways. And again, boom, hit the brakes. Let's say I got dumbbells in my hand or I got a coach with, with their hands on my shoulder. They're gonna push me down and I'm gonna to try to stick that landing as best I can. Again, I'm gonna toe heel the landing, I'm gonna bend the knees, drop the hip back, chest forward, engaging the posterior chain as I'm engaging the rest of the, the kinetic chain. And then we can obviously do lateral or forward single leg variations as we get better at this. You know, we get off the box and we gotta stabilize in that position. You gotta to try to be able to hold that and be really, really stable as you drop, land, stick, and hold. So those are the single leg variations of the same drop jump. From there, we can take on more agility-based type movements that have the same kind of focus. Uh, we could do like a lateral, we could do a lateral shuffle, if you will. If you have a, a coach or a partner that's grabbing a band, and if, let's say you have that band attached to your waist, you can set yourself up, you can try to shuffle out, and as you come back, the coach and partner is gonna pull that band so it really accelerates your motion this way. Now you gotta really have a very nice kind of control and stop of being pulled, pulled back into position where the muscles are now working in a plane that's very similar to what you do when you're playing the, playing the sport, right? So this would be a shuffle with a band around the waist. You're gonna come out, shuffle. As you're coming back, it's gonna be accelerated by the band being pulled and you're gonna try to stop all momentum in one spot. By the same token, you can try to create a little bit more stability in these kinds of movements. Instead of doing a shuffle with, 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 with both feet or bilaterally, you can go a single leg or unilateral kind of motion where you say, same band attached to the, to the uh, waist now you're gonna jump out away from the partner or the anchor system, and then you're gonna jump back, and then when you jump back, you're gonna get that accelerated effect. When you jump back, you wanna to try to stick and hold as that band's pulling you this way. It's gonna create a lot of activation in the glutes, in the quads, and in the hamstrings as well. In a lateral plane, that's very similar to what's going on in the game of baseball. One final variation that we love to do is an accelerated forward lunge. Usually a coach will be standing behind the athlete or a partner will be standing behind the athlete. The, the athlete could either be on the ground or if you want to make it a little bit more intense, the athlete, athlete could be standing on a low box, no more than probably about six inches high. And then what you want to do from there is the coach or partner is going to push the athlete. The athlete is going to take that accelerated motion of the push allow that acceleration motion to happen without fighting back, and then as the foot it makes, it makes contact with the ground, that's where we want to hit the brakes, right? So we're coming this way, and we're getting pushed. We're gonna take the push, hit the brakes, push ourselves back into position, an accelerated motion where we're going now linearly and then stopping the motion and then coming back into position.